Closer to home, emergency crews are expecting an increased number of heat related medical calls because of the higher temperatures we're seeing. Yeah, and crews have already taken steps to make sure not only you get proper treatment, but their crews stay safe as well. Fox 8's Elijah Skipper spoke with emergency response officials who shared how they're preparing for this hot week ahead. You're beginning to be dehydrated. Um, the fatigue sets in, heat exhaustion followed by heat stroke and ultimately death if you're not cautious. The symptoms of heat stress, something that every first responder sees firsthand during the summer months. We anticipate it every year. As far as our levels are concerned here, we do have a weather station here on campus that gives us the apparent temperature and we monitor that throughout the day. Emergency crews say most heat stress calls aren't necessarily because of hot temperatures, but are due to the exhaustion and hydration issues related to it. Last week on the 19th, the high was only 87, but Guilford County EMS responded to four heat-related calls. We don't always expect that, but we are definitely ready for it on hotter days. It's also top of mind with uh, the Wyndham Championship coming up. We know we're going to have a lot of people outside, and we've got crews in place and, and sort of plans in place for uh, if it's particularly hot for that coming up as well. Heat stress isn't the only danger when temperatures rise. We do see an increase in some automobile fires. Um, mechanical stuff tends to start failing at higher temperatures. The cooling system is not working. Any kind of a grease or oil buildup on the engine is more prone to ignite at higher temperatures. You're not getting that active cooling. To maintain consistent and cool temperatures, ambulances must be kept running on medical scenes at all times. When trucks are on base, they plug into shorelines that electronically cools equipment. We basically treat the back of the truck almost as a, a very light refrigerator. Uh, we try to control everything back there just so there's no question about spoilage within any kind of those medications. And for the crews that respond to these calls, they make sure to practice what they preach. Once they come out of the, uh, the active role of firefighting, they come out of their turnout gear. We do have uh, shelter available. Our air resources division has a uh, air unit that's equipped with both Gatorade and water. We have some uniform changes, so you may see us in t-shirts instead of in blue shirts. Um, and that people, you know, kind of help to keep them a little bit cooler that way uh, within our crews and also trying to stay in the truck, stay in a cool environment. In Guilford County, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. Not to minimize the amount of heat stress firefighters experience, the fire department has adopted a four level heat exposure plan. Levels one through uh, three see outdoor training stop, increased hydration breaks, and increased medical monitoring. Level four, which begins at 106 degrees, sees the department scale back on all non essential functions and only running essential fire and heat related calls. Well,